Hi, I'm Teresa and I've been climbing for nearly 10 years. And I'm Elle and I've been climbing for just over a year. Elle actually moved to Sheffield just a couple of months ago, which is a city next to the Peak District, one of the best national parks for UK bouldering. I've barely done any climbing outdoors, but I really want to get into it now I live here in Sheffield. So, I decided to set myself a challenge. There's my girl. Hi. <laughs> so I had an idea. I thought I might try and do 30 climbs in seven days. <laughs> seven. Yeah. Okay. Uh, do you reckon a steel uh, ball? Realistically. Oh my God, we are so running out of time. Come on, no. Oh, the hell we go. Hurry, 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 back down, back down. Pressure. We have like an hour. I thought we had longer. Yeah. Elle just gotta fucking do come on, it. Come on, come on, come on! Elle! Oh. The objective of this past week was for me to just do loads and loads and loads of threes, fours, and fives so I could get that experience on grit, get a feel for the way my body needs to move, learn to trust my feet. I'm here to help out with any tips because I've been where you are now. I'll tell you what, I actually learned so much. Mm. so much like i feel like a completely different climber now okay well, let's find out how it went can't do it i hate it i have no confidence i'm scared i don't like it i can't do it I can't do it back. Okay, this was the climb that I think really highlighted to me how much I didn't trust my feet. Yeah, it's a pretty positive slab. I think partly I'd watched lots of people climbing this climb, people who were taller than me, taking these big steps up it and I was trying to replicate that and actually what I realized is I wasn't able to drop my heel as I was coming up onto my toe and I could feel that I was going to slip. And actually taking those little steps meant I could keep my heel dropped and like I could keep like walking up instead of like getting a high foot and just being like, I can't drop my heel, I'm gonna slip, and then panicking. <laughs> Sorry dog. If you're short, don't trust tall people, don't trust average people. Do your thing. Well done. <laughs> There was one point during this climb actually, I was about to go for a move and I was getting to that height where I was like, I'm kind of scared of falling now. And I look down and all I can see is just the grass. I'm scared. <laughs> it's because I looked down and saw all of this. <laughs> I know it's just in my head because realistically, when you jump down, you're gonna jump backwards, but something about seeing the ground and just the idea of my foot just slipping and going straight down just Mmm, so scary. And so I just had to keep coming down. I couldn't even make myself try because I was so scared. Mm. Like, what if I don't push myself backwards? I'm just going to slide down. I think you will just naturally fall backwards okay. there. But you might just like just cheese grate it down. down. Yeah. Yeah. Ow. This is the problem is like I fall once and then I really struggle to really try again, which is like odd because I think most people fall and they're like, oh, I was fine falling. Yeah. Whereas for me, it like compounds that I had something to be scared of. Yeah. Catch me before. Can't do it. Come on. Look. Yeah. Okay. You're fine. I'm not. You're fine. I can't. Climb down then. That's what I'm trying to do. You <laughs> Can I just say, this is completely normal. Like, you just gotta trust that when you get scared or your body gets scared, it kind of just pushes everything away. Like, I've seen more people fall behind the pad than in the. So. It was like an actual climb instead of just a desperate slab. <laughs> yeah, that was an actual climb. Yeah. I'm in bed right now. 
I think what I realized yesterday is that I'm a massive wimp. I just, I'm really risk averse. I just look down and I panic. Like, I'll try things that I'm definitely capable of, but I get freaked out and then I just bail. But then someone will come along who's of a similar ability to me or maybe isn't as strong or hasn't even been climbing as long and they just want to get up it and they just do. They just they just hold on and get up and they're fearless and I'm like, how? How are you not terrified? <laughs> I'm like trying to edit this first day of climbing footage and I already had a sense that I was kind of a bummer to climb with but oh my god, I'm just so negative like do a shot every time I say I can't do this I can't do it. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I actually can't. Do I even like climbing? Like, I don't know how to improve my head game. I don't know how to be like, I can do this when I'm scared. Because I'm so scared. <laughs> We're taking a little video. <laughs> Panic there for a second. Oh, fuck. <laughs> this is the downtime. Ah. Oh, God. I see where they call it the squad. Nailed it. Yeah. <laughs> cool. It'll be hilarious. Fuck that. <laughs> nah, let's do something else. Guys, I can't beat any holes. No, it's trash feet. But I, but I, but I don't. <laughs> Feet, where are they? Okay. Oh. I can't reach the top. Can't. Oh my god. Okay. That was like a real. Take a deep breath. <laughs> Just. I thought you were coming down. I did too. I'm gonna put my hand in a caterpillar. Ooh. The difference between the first day and the second time we went out mm -hmm. climbing, I was a different climber, unrecognizable. In firstly, I was trusting my feet, crazy. Like, wait it, drop the heel, you're good. And also, if you do fall, it's not that bad. There's cushioning in spotters around, and it's part of the game. You're always gonna fall. And the other thing that I noticed was completely different was my head game. I don't know what it was about the vibes at the crag that day. But I was just like, I'm here to have fun. If I'm not getting this climb, I'm just gonna move on. And it really helped having like the right people and the right atmos around you. Exactly. Good friends, good climbs. Okay, so you absolutely aren't gonna believe this. As we were driving home last night, not one, not two, but three fault lights came on in my car, my new car. <laughs> So I'm gonna go to Halford's, see if I can fix the problem, and if I can't, I don't have a vehicle. AdBlue didn't work, so... Car's broken. Ah! Is it okay if we reschedule uh, climbing tomorrow just because I'm a bit nervous to drive out to the peak with that many fault lights on? You are joking me, right? I mean, obviously it's okay, but like... This is very last minute. The car's gonna go get checked, but what if it's bad? And we can't realistically get it done in a week? Oh, I don't know. Um, the next time I'm around is Sunday, so I guess we're just gonna have to do all of the remaining climbs on Sunday. We have until sunset <laughs> to send 15 climbs. I'm not confident. You all should be confident. Shut up. Okay, here we go. That definitely didn't sound good. Four down, 11 to go. Woo I'm the most stylish climber on the crag and I look adorable with this hat. That just ran. Top end of what we're trying today. So let's see how it goes. Oh my God, we've got Bozy on B cam. 
Just go, man. It's bothering you. Don't rest. Come on. Oh, my handies. Let's move on because I think this one's going to take way too long and we got 11 climbs to do. Let's go. Will you talk me through this one? Yeah, I've got you open. I'm right here, okay? Okay. Oh, come back down. He's the wrong foot. Ah, that was scary. Oh, yay. These might be easy, but they're high, so I don't reckon I'm gonna. No, but this is like a ladder here. That's easy. Come on. This one might be fine. That's easy. <laughs> right, where's the good bit? Oh, okay, so my advice? Yeah. Okay. That's to the left, over yeah. there, yeah. Oh. Ah! That felt like I was gonna fall as well. No, like. no, I was behind you. Oh. Okay, this is a good fit. I'm literally right behind you, you got this. Oh my goodness! Woo! How do I get down? <laughs> I'm filming this as I fall on my face. <laughs> well being angelic. Uh, <laughs> I do a flip. T, we have like an hour. I thought we had longer. Actually feeling kind of nervous that we might not manage this. This is like a lot of pressure. Yeah! What, walk down here? It's really good for my head game. Okay, I'm just gonna... <laughs> we haven't got time for this. Oh god, I almost rolled down the street. Oh my gosh, I think we might. I think we might do it. Like, a bit flashy. Teresa, what do you think of this landing? I think it's superb. <laughs> Ow. You want one of the... Ew. <laughs> oh my god, we are so running out of time. But the sunset's pretty. I used to need another count. <laughs> ah, Sibenga. Oh my gosh. Okay, how many is that? One, two, three, four, five, six. <gasps> four left. Chips are getting a little, a little sore now. Let's fold it. Here we go. Boy. He is okay, so I look like boy. Cute boy though. It's 8.57. We've got like 15 minutes left. You've got two climbs left. So this has to be quick. Look at that. Yeah. The sun is literally gone. <laughs> you got this. Come on, come on, come on. One more. One more. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Back down, back down. She's so small, you guys. I could literally pinch her. I think I need a right foot because otherwise I'm like going for it and that foot's just not doing anything and I'm like falling. So where is our foot? Here, 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 here. Whoa. Here. Wait, this is too here, here. Oh my, slow down. Anything. Look, you just smear on it. No, but I need like, I need to like place, like see where am I going to place it? Here. And if that's two to the right, it? go like here. Who is that? Just a, a like oh my god, now I've got a dude. Don't know who he is. Okay. Hmm. Quite handsome, isn't he? Yes! <laughs> Elle just gotta f***ing do it. She's doubting herself and she needs to figure out that she's a good climber and she can do this. Agreed. <laughs> Come on. Come on, El. Come on. You got this. Come on. Left foot higher. Lower. 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 That's it. You feel that? Right foot. Yes. El, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. El. Woo. 
Come on! Oh my god! Stop them! Finally! Woo! <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah! <laughs> that climb, man. The number of attempts. That was such hard work for a 5C. Everybody just like, we're hungry. Get it done. Pressure was on. There's a lot of pressure. I'm not even going to justify it. But you did it. I did it. And you did it with the weird beat up. Yeah. Do you see that tiny little side pull? Yeah. That made it lots harder than using the flat sloper. I have strong fingers and I suck at slopers. So why on earth? Am I trying the sloper beater when there's, okay, yeah, a hold that's not necessarily in the direction that I need it to be, mm -hmm. but it's still a hold. So the reason I got it this time, I secretly changed my beater. And as soon as I played to my strength, used my finger strength, I was like up it. I guess the lesson learned there was just to play to your strengths. Exactly. Go with your gut. If things aren't really working, do your thing. And we're finished. Thank you very much. That's a wrap, ladies and gentlemen. That's a wrap. So, what are your three tips for people who are starting to climb outdoors then? The first one, what I found really helpful. When I got scared, I jumped down to the pads so that I was practicing the landing. So if I did fall, I'd feel prepared. Yeah. Number two, if you're climbing on a smeary slab, drop the heels weight the feet it's not gonna slip but if you're a shorty like me and me take small steps or steps that are proportional to your size because we can't all dream that we're tall when we're not number three and probably the most valuable one when you're in those early days of starting climbing mileage is so important it's okay to just say eh whatever moving on and try something else there comes a point where you try to move a few times and you're probably not learning much more. A new boulder has a lot more to teach you. Exactly, and now there's a saying you get to practice. I'm Al. I'm Teresa. Thank you for watching our video. We're gonna make a new video every month. Comment below if you have any advice to people getting started climbing outdoors. Yes, and we're not doing other voices. If you wanted to, you could subscribe and do that thing where you turn on the little bell so you get a notification. We'll see you next month. Have a beautiful time. Bye. <laughs>